What's going on peeps, it's Zach back with another video. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about why I essentially stopped making astral projection videos. Now, for those of you that have been with the channel for a while, the likelihood is that you subscribed to this channel way back in 2018 when I started making videos about astral projection. A lot of those videos are actually no longer public on my channel, quite simply because I was really self-conscious about them. As time went on and those videos started getting thousands of views, I started to really consider what are the implications of these videos? You know, what are people going to think when they're watching these videos and hearing about these experiences? Are they going to think I'm crazy? Are they going to think that this is total mumbo jumbo and that, you know, there's something wrong with me essentially. Very self-deprecating thoughts, very overly self-conscious thoughts, and, and kind of antithetical to the point of my channel now, which is, you know, self-empowerment, self-development stuff. As that stuff was happening, I was also getting a lot of questions about astral projection, you know, being, what does it mean? What do your experiences mean? People were asking me about their experiences, what do my experiences mean? Um, and I had this opinion at the time that was really that astral projection doesn't mean anything at all, right? It's, it's just kind of a empty experience where you are floating through the universe experiencing something completely random and it has no implication on your life whatsoever. It has no implication on you as a spiritual being, you as a physical being, no implication at all. It just means it means nothing. So between that opinion and just, you know, my self-consciousness around the videos themselves, um, I took down a lot of the videos. I stopped making videos about astral projection in general and um, yeah, I just kind of swore it off. I was like, I'm never going to make a video about astral projection ever again. Now, we grow and we change, and as time went on, I was astral projecting on a much more regular basis. At this point, probably every other night or so. It's, it's very regularly, and, and I would say that the likelihood is that most of us astral project probably just about every night. Um, we just don't really realize this, right? We're not conscious of the travels, the journeys, what have you. And so, yeah, I'm probably astral projecting every single night, but I'm conscious of it on a, you know, every other night type basis, you know, three, four, five times a week almost. So now going into year, you know, like four, I guess, four of having these kinds of experiences, um, I've, I've changed my mind. You know, I, my opinions of what astral projection is and what it means have changed quite significantly. I'll probably make another video pretty soon explaining the layers of astral projection as I, as I perceive them. I made a video about the layers of reality, which I highly recommend you check out. It's on my channel and I'll probably link it in a little card thing above here, and I'll link it in the description below. But the bottom line is that I see that there are a lot of different layers of reality and astral projection is pretty much just an extension of reality. It is reality, right? And there's layers of astral projection, but it's all in this kind of layered cake. Again, go watch the video. It'll make more sense. And I'll probably make another video that explains it in a lot more detail. But the bottom line is that having gone through these experiences and you know doing it on such a regular basis, I think it does matter, right? I think it does have implications. I mean, it matters just as much as any other experience matters. You know, just as much as a, a breakup in person would matter you know, some kind of heart-wrenching experience in astral projection matters just as much. It's, it's all the same. It's, it's no different, right? Just because we're experiencing things in this physical life doesn't make it more important than something that happens on an energetic vibrational level. In fact, I would say that truly something that happens on an energetic vibrational level that is as raw as something that is an astral projection experience, right? Keep in mind, guys, astral projection is just like a it's like a moniker, it's a term. It's just something that blankets this um, experience of raw consciousness going off and doing whatever it wants. So there's a million tangents to explain, but the bottom line is that I have realized that it does matter. It, it matters tremendously. Um, you can totally change everything about yourself by going into the astral plane where there are few, if any, limitations beyond your conscious experience and, and quickly, very quickly change who you are on a fundamental level. Definitely matters, um, and I'm gonna try to make more videos about it as time goes on. So, like I said, two videos that are definitely on the way. Number one, explaining the layers of astral projection and how they connect to this physical world and, and all other planes of reality, right? Number two, people have been asking me about um, experiences. So, I definitely have plenty of experience videos I can talk about. So, I definitely have plenty of experiences I can make videos about that would be, um, you know, impactful and entertaining at very least for you guys. Then, another video that I'm thinking about making is a how to. There are a ton of how to videos on YouTube and they all are really impactful. I think they all work. I mean, you could watch anybody's how-to and study that video, and it would give you 
a ton of insight into how you could astral project. If you're new to astral projection, follow one person's technique and it will get you to where you want to be. If you are already astral projecting and you're just trying to do it more regularly, you're trying to get it down as a uh, skill, watching more videos and learning more techniques will help you to understand different aspects of, of things that could improve your own technique. So I figured I could make a video that would give you insight onto my techniques and uh, yeah, they might help you out. So just kind of a quick update for you guys. I hope this video gave you some insight into why I haven't posted about astral projection much in the past. Um, it's not going to become the sole thing that I post about on this video. In fact, it will still be probably just like 10% of my channel. But I figured that this stuff is really important to me. I think it's incredibly impactful. It has radically changed my perspective of what reality is and how it works. And for that reason, um, I was definitely bullshitting myself when I told you guys that it, it didn't really matter. It didn't mean anything. Um, and so, Opinions change, and I am back to make some content around the concept of astral projection, and I hope it's beneficial, and I hope it resonates with you. So until next time, uh, much love you guys. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that little notification bell so you know my videos come out, and I will talk to you later. Namaste. Peace. Bye-bye.